Hey, what's up? Cheap beer for you to drink. My name is JJ. This is an interesting one. This is a new product from Labatt Blue Light under the Blue Light brand. Um, it is a non-alcoholic strawberry acai flavored beer. Um, I got really excited when I saw it. I thought it was just a strawberry beer. <laughs> and then I saw in big lettering the non-alc which is interesting. There's always a market for non-alcoholic beer, and it seems like even more so than in years past. That seems like a growing trend is more and more non-alcoholic beers coming out. And just in case I forgot the price this was when I just picked it up, uh, they wrote it on the box. $7.99 was the price, which I wish non-alcoholic beers were cheaper than regular beers, uh, but they aren't. So this was eight bucks, a uh, pretty hefty price. But I mean, if you, for whatever reason, there's a million reasons you would want to drink a non-alcoholic beer. I, I've said this in the past. I like it. I can drink one on a weekday and not feel bad. Um, sometimes you just crave a beer. But uh, we'll see what this tastes like because I don't know that this is going to be good. Um, it's 75 calories. It's going to be really fruity flavored. We'll see if it's worth drinking this or you just get some juice or something we'll see uh so any other info on the box we said it's 75 calories it's brewed in the usa is what it says on here six 12 fluid ounce slim cans again 7.99 where i picked it up at this gas station malt beverage with natural flavors and caramel color non-alcoholic malt beverage contains less than 0.5 percent alcohol by volume non-taxable uh but i was taxed on it uh 75 calories 14.5 grams of carbs that's really high so there must be some fruit juice in this it's really high for a light beer right 14.5 grams regardless the calorie content is pretty nice uh, brewed and packaged by Labatt USA, Rochester, New York. It's pretty much all it says on here. Let's try it out and see if it's good. Strawberry acai flavored Labatt Blue Light non-alc. That's a long name. Big blast of uh, fruit. It's so strange, this box. Man, it smells just like the gas station I bought it from. Yeah, yeah, I keep getting whiffs of that. It smells like I'm back inside of that gas station. That's a very unique smell. And this has uh, caramel color added. I don't like that. I wish uh, they didn't do that. But it looks like a beer, thanks to the coloring that they added in there. They could have just left it be and no one would have minded. We'll see what it tastes like. What is, I was going to say, what's the alcohol percentage on here? Um, again, it's non-alcoholic beer, so less than 0 0.5. Of course, Louie has to join us. Hey, buddy. He bit my foot earlier. I'm mad at him. It really hurt. It still hurts. That was like two hours ago. Let's try it out. Labatt Blue Light Strawberry Acai Non-Alcohol, whatever it's called. So, I'm confused at what this is. Because normally a beer says non-alcoholic beer, right? This just says non-alcoholic brew, and it says it's a malt beverage. This does not taste at all like beer, sadly. Um, all you get is a very light, um, I don't know what a side tastes like. It does taste like strawberry, but not the best strawberry flavor this almost just tastes like strawberry seltzer there is zero <laughs> a beer flavor which is unfortunate because that would be a good combo so recently on the channel a really cool product we reviewed tony and i it was the uh the bat blue light mixer pack with grapefruit lime black cherry and watermelon beer those were so well done all of them really cool pack this is not um 
but I, I understand why it exists. Um, it's cool that it exists, but I wish it tasted better and I wish it tasted more like beer for it being a non-alcoholic beer. But I guess it's fine for what it is for the market of people that you go to. Uh, they said in the press release like a holiday party. This was supposed to come out during the holidays. Um, and I can see a lot of people do like the dry January. And I think they were really trying to get it pushed out by the start of January. So people, if they didn't want to drink alcohol, wanted something to bring to a New Year's Eve party or whatever they went to, they could bring this. But uh, I just saw it and we're at the 1st of March and I this is the first time I've seen it. And it was the only box that they had at this gas station. Um, the same one I found the nude hard tea and I never saw it again. But um, a very small audience, I, I would say for this beer. It's not even beer, non-alcoholic malt beverage. And I wish they would have done a better job with it. It tastes okay. Um, actually, it's really not that enjoyable to drink. I'd rather drink um, like a seltzer water, like a LaCroix or something like that. Um, because when I want a non-alcoholic beer, I want it for the taste of beer. I know it's not going to get me drunk. It's not going to have alcohol in it. But I still like the taste of beer when I drink a non-alcoholic beer. This lacks that. Um, so I'm a little confused by this product, and uh, I don't think I'd recommend it. But if you're drinking non-alcoholic beers, I get some comments every now and then to do more non-alcoholic beers. And I saw this, and I thought, hey, let's do it. But uh, I don't think I can recommend this one. Because it's a flavored non-alcoholic malt beverage, but not very good flavor. <laughs> I keep wanting to say beer, but this apparently is not a beer. Uh, it does not mention that word at all on here. So yeah, a little disappointed. Um, and especially in the price, $7.99, uh, go pick up a six-pack of fruit juice if you... <laughs> rather you do that, or a six-pack of LaCroix, than pick this up, or get a better non-alcoholic beer, because there are good ones out there. Uh, Budweiser Zero is a great choice. Um, I hear the Heineken 0, 0.0 is good, and at some point I'm going to try that. There are good non-alcoholic beers out there. If you're looking for one, this is not it. Cheap beer for you to drink. Leave your comments down below, your request if you got any. Um, yeah, have you seen any new products out there? I saw something new, and I'm really excited uh, to try it. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out. Some videos coming up soon. It's cheap beer for you to drink. Of course, thanks for watching.